Hi, my name is Jeff Smith, Director of Training for AMP Global. Today we're here to talk about the Phoenix Gold DSP 8.8, specifically a tech issue with the high level input section on the DSP 8.8. There are a series of uh, ground isolation jumpers located within the DSP 8.8 that most people aren't very familiar with. We've also added a tech brief to the Phoenix Gold website itself so that you can download this in the tech area to see exactly all of the information on the website. But since we're here, let's go ahead and open up the DSP and talk specifically about what we can do to help with ground noise on the high level input. Once you remove all of the screws on the bottom of the unit and the screws on the side of the unit, you'll be able to open up the DSP. Depending on when you purchase your DSP, your DSP should come with the ground isolation jumpers in the packaging. If they didn't, please contact our customer service department and they'll get jumpers sent out to you. Located directly here behind the high level input harness, you'll see your load resistors for each of the eight high level input channels and eight sets of pins for each individual channel. You simply take your input, your ground isolation jumpers and slide them on the pins toward the right for 100 to 1000 ohms of resistance or you move them toward the capacitors for 100 ohms of ground resistance for your high level input. By doing this, you're going to help uh, alleviate noise issues and find out the right combination that's needed for your particular installation. The DSPs are all shipped without any of the ground isolation jumpers in place and this is a floating ground or isolated ground uh, for your high level input. When you add these into your system, it should alleviate any of your noise uh, issues that you have for your high level input. If your noise is persistent after you've added your ground loop isolation jumpers, the first thing you would want to do would be to check your ground resistance uh, on the power side of your DSP 8.8. By doing this, you can make sure that your ground resistance to your amplifiers and your DSP is below 1 ohm for the best possible system performance. If you have any other questions, you can contact us here at Amp Tech Support or on Facebook at our Amp Tech Support page. Once again, I'm Jeff Smith with Amp. Thanks for watching.